the Bible tells us to come out to the streets to reach our people. Right, because our people are dying out here. Our people are on drugs. Our people are on alcohol. Right, our people are destroyed and they're without a vision. So we can't. We come out to the streets to give our people the vision. Right, that you are the Israelites. Right, that God chose you to be a special people. And what that means is the commandments was given to you. All right, give me uh, Psalms chapter one forty nine. You know what I want? The commandments of God was given to a specific people. And that people are you so-called blacks and Hispanics. Yes, you. You Negroes. Right? You niggas. Right? You baby daddies. You baby mamas. Right? All these names that's given to us as a people, that's who God came for. Right. Read. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. So the Bible says he showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is our forefather. Jacob's name became changed to the name of Israel. That's why we are the Israelites, according to the Bible. We are the real Jews, according to the Bible. Right? And we are here to give that life to our people. To give them a vision greater than white man Jesus. Because white man Jesus is not recorded in this Bible. God is a black man with woolly hair. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. No, the white man. Unto Israel. So the Bible says he gave his statutes and, and judgments to Israel. To Israel. So I know what you're thinking. You keep saying Israel, but you ain't never showed me that I'm an Israelite according to the Bible. How you know that we are the chosen people of God? How you know that we are, we are the Israelites? How you know that, my brother? Well, I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you out of the Bible your heritage, right? Because this Bible is your heritage, black man, right? This Bible is your heritage. Right. This Bible is your heritage. Well, you know. And I need you to understand what it means and what it says about you and your people. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Right? So the Bible lets us know that we are speaking to the Israelites. Moses was a black man according to the Bible. That's right. All right? Moses is our forefather. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the Bible says these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Hold on. Did it say African American? Unto all Israel. No. Did it say Negro? All Israel. Oh, no, it must have said Afro-American. All Israel. The Bible says Afro-American, Negro, African-American. That's not in the Bible. That's not a nationality. You can't find African-American in the Bible. You can't find Negro in the Bible as a nationality. But we walk around calling each other Negroes, Afro-Americans. But the Bible calls you the Israelites, and we're going to prove it out of your heritage book. This is your book. It's not the white man's book. Let him know. Read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. So we're going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that this is your book. And God came for a people that's called the Negroes, that's called the African Americans because they're lost. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And the Most High God is raising up shepherds to draw his people back in. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you who you are, my mama, my sister. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says it shall come to pass, meaning it's a future prophecy concerning a people who? The Israelites. Right. It's concerning a people. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Drop your fly, my brother. That's important information. That's gold. That's, more, that's worth more than money. I need you to keep it. There's contact inf information on the back of each of you guys' flyer. I need you to call that number and come and learn who you are. Thank We're you. trying to set up a school in Emporia. Right. We want to build the minds of the so-called black man. Right. To wake them up from drugs and alcohol. Right. You know, read. To observe to do all his commandments. So the Bible says it shall come to pass if we will not observe to do all the commandments of God, of our Heavenly Father. Hold on, wait. Is God the God of everybody? That's my question to everybody out here. Does God, is the God, did the God choose everybody to be his special people? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. God only chose one people to be the special people. Right. The people in the Jewish land, the people in Israel, they are not the real people of God. That's right. 
That's why you call them Jewish. Right. They're not the real thing. That's right. There's something pertaining to it. They may pick up a couple laws, but they're not the true people of God. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. So the Bible says thou art an holy people. The Israelites are an holy people. Right. The word holy, my sister, means separate. Right. But we acted like everybody else. We called each other's niggas. B-I-C-T-H's, degrading our women, right? Not di uh, disrespecting our men. Right. We're going to touch on all of that. We're going to teach you how to get yourself together as a sister and as a brother. Jeez. So we can establish marriages in our communities. Right. So we can stop this baby daddies and baby mamas. We tired of all those names that's not associated with a special people. Proverbs 3 and 31. We Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. It says, Envy thou not the oppressor. That can't be the Bible. Read that again. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible is saying, Envy thou not the oppressor. Hold on. The Bible is talking like this. The Bible is saying, Envy not the oppressor. What do you do? But my people are confused as in, as, a, as of who God loves. What? Deuteronomy 76. Give me back. Go back there. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. But thou art an holy people. Well, thou art an holy people. We. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. So the Bible says, the Lord has chosen you, my brother. My, the Lord has chosen the people that's considered nobodies. Right. The people that's considered heathens, Bring it Gentiles. Out. But you're not the Gentiles. You are the chosen people of God. Right. Right. We. To be a special people unto himself. Unto what? Unto himself. The Bible says you are a special people unto himself. But we're not behaving like it. Right. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. So now let's show you the history pertaining to your people. And why we say so boldly that we are the Israelites. Right. That we are God's chosen people. That we're not just niggas. We're not just spicks. We're not just Native Americans. Right. We're not just baby daddies. Right. We're not just drug dealers. Right. I'm going to show you why we say it so boldly. We. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So the Bible says, if the Israelites would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to do all his commandments, we and his statutes, which I command thee this day, then all these curses, what? all these curses, these curses breathe for me, breathe for me. All right, the Bible says, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Bible says, all of these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. As a people, as so-called African Americans, as so-called blacks, are we blessed as a people or cursed in our communities? We are cursed as a people. Give me verse 32, come on. Verse 32, their sons and their daughters. So this is a curse. This is a prophecy concerning the biblical Israelites. Moses said, thy sons and thy daughters, we, shall be given, shall be what? Shall be given, shall be given, we, unto another people. Unto who? Unto another people. The Bible prophesies slavery. That's right. what you see on this sign. Black history. Well-known history, well-documented history. Right. That's what we come to show our people, that right. your history is right here in the Bible. That's right. right. Your history is right here. The same Bible that the lion Christian pastors got in the pulpits, tell them why he's not on the streets coming to teach his people. Right. Right. But he want to stay in his condition. He want to stay comfortable, asking for tithes and offering. Right. Still in extorting the people right. when we already at the bottom. Right. Right. We... And then eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So the Bible says our eyes shall look and fail with longing for our people, for our sons and our daughters all the day long. Right? When they shipped our daughters off to another plantation, right. when they ripped them from our father's arms, from our mother's arms, Bring it out. because another enemy of God wanted them to use them as a, as a worker, right, right? three-fifths of a man, I want that baby. I want to raise him on my plantation. Jeez. That's the same thing happening today. Right. Hence, that's why we wake up at nine to five. Right. Same thing the officers are bringing out. Give me a little, hold that. Give me a Lamentation chapter, I think it's five. Lamentation chapter five. Because our people need to know who they are. The vision has been destroyed for a long time. 
The vision of who you are has been destroyed for a long time. You've been going to the Christian church for too long, and they have not taught you the proper vision. You've been calling yourself Islam for too long. A lot of our brothers into Islam, that's not, that's not even your nationality. The, 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 the religion of Islam belongs to the Arabs. That's not even your nationality. What you do? We. Yes. Limitations chapter 5 and verse 5. I went next. Uh, what? I went next. So the Bible says, our next, our next, uh -huh. we are under persecution. Yeah. Under persecution. Yeah. 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 Under persecution. We, yeah. we labor. Yeah. We do what? We labor. Yeah. We, do what? Yeah. we labor. So the Bible says, the Israelites, they labor. We, and have no rest. How many of you guys got rest? How many of you guys can say you guys got true rest oh. as a people? No, we time, don't. It's time to get yourself No, we don't. It's time for us to wake up. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Now give me the next. It says our necks are under persecution and we have no rest. Give me next. What was put on our necks is slavery right. by the enemies of God. Bring it out. We. But Deuteronomy the chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. I want you to breathe for me. So the Bible says, therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. This can't be the Bible talking like this. The God of the universe is saying that our people shall serve their enemies. I thought God loved everybody. So surely God can't love everybody if the, if the word enemies is being used. The Israelites will serve their enemies. Read that again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Therefore, we shall serve our enemies. We, which the Lord shall sin against thee. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Why? Because we disobeyed his commandments, as it stated in verse 15. Because why? Your heritage is your power. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.